Ladies and gentlemen, Science Strafe back with another episode of the Strafing Round, of course designed to keep you up to date on a fairly regular basis, and today in the background we've got some more Cube World, and this was me running around with some friends just exploring this server. This was actually uh, my friend's game that he had created, and uh, I'm still blown away by how this thing generates terrain. It looks almost handcrafted, the way it creates mountain ranges and roads and riverways, and it's just brilliant, and I really look forward to its continued growth. The potential that this title has, just unlimited possibilities. I really can't wait to see what happens. You know, I'm looking forward to them adding even simple things like a, a nice soundtrack or perhaps even more ambient effects, weather and, and, and things like that. It just, they could add so much, and it performs so well. Uh, I would perhaps maybe like some more draw distance options. I'd like to see a little further. I know that would perhaps uh, affect performance, but I would still like the option if if my system can handle it. Uh, as right now, it's just smooth as silk. It's it's. I don't think it runs bad on anybody's system. But again, it, it the way it draws the terrain, I think, helps with that type of thing. But um, this was a lot of fun. We mostly just spent the night looking around, watching. Uh, the environments grow, jumping on the mountains and, and trying to get uh, nice views and angles of the world. Uh, getting into general trouble, of course, uh, running away from giant creatures in the night. And wow, I have to say the night times in this game, they're, they're creepy. All you got is your lantern and the little campfires in the distance and just the way the lighting engine works with this title. Just magnificent. Love it. Having a lot of fun with it. But moving right along. I wanted to talk a little bit about the Duckster website and their World of Tanks portal. Uh, many of you probably saw that I had created a video about Duckster and that portal. If you haven't, go check it out, especially if you're into World of Tanks, because uh, prizes are on the line. Some good stuff there. Duckster, basically, social networking for gamers. 100% for gamers, and uh, it's actually a great place just to meet people, make new friends. Uh, a lot of people have met platoon mates for World of Tanks on that site. Uh, one of the cool things they have is a Hall of Fame where you can take a screenshot of your battle results for World of Tanks, upload it to Duckster. People vote on it if, if it's a great battle, if you had an awesome game or victory. And the more votes that you have on a screenshot at the end of the season, Duckster will award the winner uh, a nice prize. The last one was awarded. It was 6,500 gold for World of Tanks. And that's a lot of gold. I mean, I know what I could do with 6,500 gold. You can buy some premium time. You could uh, unlock uh, some XP. You could buy credits. You can get garage slots, camouflage, train crew. Uh, you name it. Gold is... is of course, the lifeblood of that game, while not necessary, you can have a lot of fun for free, but it's nice to have some gold, especially to have it just for posting a screenshot of a game that you play on a regular basis. That's fantastic. And that's built into seasons, so I think that was, I think they listed that as season two, so, you know, they'll have a season three, and, uh, you know, another 6,500 gold will probably be on the line. Uh, so you want to get on there, upload your screenshots, and just try to win it. And the more battles you post, the, the higher your chances are. You, there's, I don't think there's a limit to how many screens you can post, so, you know, get to it. And that's just really cool, because I, I haven't seen too many websites that allow you to post screenshots that, that, like that in a way uh, where the whole world can really see it. On top of that, the World of Tanks portal just has a lot of information and guides, and, and it will continue to grow with your feedback and that is actually happening they do want your feedback there's a nice green feedback button on the site they want to know uh, what types of things you want to see or what kind of improvements they can make and they are actually listening which is strange but uh, that's a thing apparently so get on there I'll have a link in the description below you sign up through that and that's also gonna let me know what my community's interest is in that type of thing so far the feedback from the people I've referred to it has been good. I haven't heard any complaints. Um, people are fairly happy with it. They're making new friends on there and uh, platooning up in game to, to, of course, help out with uh, you know uh, getting some good victory screenshots to post and, and try to win that gold. On top of that, uh, there there is a contest 
just for signing up. I believe it has been extended for one more week. I might be wrong on that. Double check. But uh, just for signing up for free through my link. It has to be through my link. You can't just sign up on the website without going through my link. Otherwise, it won't get you into the contest. But, uh, you know, there's some Logitech gear, some T-shirts, gold packages for World of Tanks. Lots of stuff on the line. Definitely check it out. Again, it's free. It's just going to take some time of yours. And uh, I think most of us have a decent amount of that. So next up, I kind of wanted to discuss my recent uh, Arma 3 Wasteland video. Uh, I had some mixed reviews on that one. Nothing too crazy. Uh, generally, it was far more liked than disliked. But I did see a, uh, a little larger number than dislikes than I usually get on a video. I was trying to figure out why it was because there weren't really many negative comments. And I think it was mostly because it was Wasteland. And I think some of my subscribers just want pure Arma 3. And most of the old school Arma 3 or Arma community uh, or, or those into the tactical uh, military uh, simulation properties of the game are not interested in the Wasteland scene or the DayZ scene and generally get upset when they see any content related to that. I'm thinking that's why it may have been. Uh, the other thing to that might have been that people didn't uh, approve of my opinion in regards to server performance in Wasteland. Uh, so I'm not sure which one it was, but in any case, uh, I think that those are usually the wrong reasons to dislike things on YouTube. Generally, I would save my dislikes for uh, content that just has either horrible audio or video quality, bad aspect ratios, black bars where they shouldn't be, um, just bad microphone setups, hissing, popping, just uh, too loud, too quiet, you know, um, things of that nature. Uh, or, or just absolutely terrible commentary where there's just nothing but swear words and uh, derogatory comments uh, towards a race or religion or something like that and you know I mean those are reasons perhaps to dislike something but uh, to dislike it just because somebody is sharing their opinion or trying to critique something you know I mean I don't know I mean that's just that's just how I roll uh, everybody's different uh, I was just trying to figure out, you know, was something wrong with the video? Was there an audio issue, a video issue? And, and I looked it over a couple of times. I didn't see anything. So, you know, any feedback in that regard is, of course, appreciated because uh, maybe you guys catch something that I miss. Uh, but, I, again, I think it was just because somebody was upset with an opinion or the fact that it was Wasteland. Uh, again, I'm not creating a Wasteland series. I was just sharing a gameplay experience. Uh, it's not to say that I won't ever film it again, but it's not really my intention to, to grab that much content for that game or, or mod or mission, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it was just something that I had and I thought, hey, let me share it with my viewers. I think they might like it. Uh, you know, again, there was way more likes than dislikes. So generally it, it you know, it came off as a positive video. But uh, I am always curious as I am uh, very much into quality control on my channel. And I, and I like to make sure things are done right. So that's that but uh, you know moving right along I'm still investigating proper servers for Arma 3 I'm looking at some of your comments and taking advice about joining just a good server for the game and I'm talking about regular Arma 3 as well not just you know mods or missions and things like that uh, apparently uh, for the most part people are telling me that a lot of the servers just run out of people's secondary machines that they're hiding away in their closets and uh, that they're not properly hosted and that's why there's so many performance issues and I could agree with that but uh, I will say that the the pro server hosting companies need to uh, take the stage and, and, and really get in here and start offering some services because um, I know the game is beta but it's 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 out and we're able to pay for it uh, you know we need proper support Otherwise, you know, people are going to get turned off by their their online experience and just run away from it. It's kind of like I, how I have, you know. Uh, it, it's hard to want to film the game or play online if, if, if my frame rate's tanking like it is. And uh, I'll tell you what, I can run a lot of high-end games with great settings. My CPU's not that bad. There is a server issue. You know, I've had two other friends have the same problem, and we all have different systems, so it wasn't just me. 
Um, so there's that. But, uh, you know, I look forward to covering Arma 3 more in the future, uh, especially pure Arma 3, because uh, that's what I'm interested in. Uh, but, yeah, you know, Wasteland has potential as long as you get into the right version of it and the server is fine. So I'm not against it. It's just not something that I was looking to cover at the moment. So there's that. And we've got that out of the way. Moving uh, right along to the Twitch scene, twitch.tv. Uh, link in the description below, twitch.tv slash sidestrafe is where I have been live streaming quite a bit, actually. Uh, some of you have been really happy with that. Uh, a lot of you just really into watching live streams. And uh, I think it's nice because it allows me to interact with the community a little bit more than I have been in the past. Obviously I get hundreds of messages in my YouTube inbox and emails for, you know, business related things and, um, in-game messages and all these things that are overwhelming that I cannot possibly answer. Put yourself in my shoes, guys, put yourself in the shoes of any YouTuber or anybody that creates content and think about how difficult it is to, to respond to all of these requests and, uh, things of that nature. You know, I appreciate compliments, but keep in mind that sometimes I can't even see all those things just because there's just so many messages. It's hard. I need a secretary. But um, uh, with with the live stream, it's nice because you have a chat. And generally, I play games that allow me to take the time to look at the chat and respond to questions uh, and feedback. World of Tanks, obviously a game that I love, that I've been streaming a lot of. Well, you play a game, you're in, there for, you're in there for a few minutes, 14 minutes or whatever. You go back to the garage and then you answer some questions in the chat. A game like Battlefield, probably not a good streaming game because you're going to be focused on the constant combat. You really don't have time to look at the chat unless maybe you die and, and then you, you take a quick glance or something. But generally I find that most live streamers don't even pay attention to their chat. They're just there just to show up and, and put their face on the screen and uh, you know make the money. For me... YouTube is my primary job. It's it's how I make my main living. It's my main focus, of course. It, it that's never going to change. Live streaming to me is a way to kind of create a a nice place for open-minded and relaxed individuals to show up and have fun, meet each other, have a good time, and uh, just watch you know me play games and either be silly or be serious, depending on what the title is. And so generally, the feedback has been fantastic. A lot of people have told me that it's one of the best streams that they've ever seen in a long, you know, that they, it's one of the best streams that they've seen in a long time. Uh, very happy with the video and audio quality. Currently, I'm streaming at 720p. I've got a 3300 bit rate going on there uh, at 48 frames per second, which is kind of cool to watch me play a game at a higher frame rate because on YouTube, YouTube only supports 30 frames. So on Twitch, you can actually watch me play at 48 or higher. I've got it at 48 and not 60 just because uh, that uh, takes a little bit of stress off of um, the stream, the bandwidth, my CPU, whatever. And so I might increase that in the future uh, when I upgrade my rig or perhaps build a secondary stream box, which I've been looking at, but it's just going to kind of depend on my on my funds. Uh, as I, I do intend to take live streaming a bit more seriously, I do actually just enjoy it. And I feel it's something that I can do in my spare time. Like, hey, I feel like playing a game for fun. Well, might as well live stream it. But, um, you know, for some of you that are concerned that are you're a YouTube subscriber and you, and you think, oh, no, is he switching to Twitch? No, I'm not. Nope, nope, nope. Nope again. Not happening. Twitch is a secondary thing. It's something that I do in my spare time because it's easy. It doesn't require me to edit footage, to upload footage. You know, there's not as much quality control that goes into it. It's just flick a switch and and, and share my experience with you guys and, and chat. You know, that's pretty much what it is. Whereas the YouTube thing is, is, is takes a lot more effort generally to produce a video, upload it, wait for it to get processed by YouTube. It's just, you know, uh, so there's that. I generally create a YouTube video every other day and then I'll stream in between that. Sometimes I'll just stream late at night just for fun that uh, just seems to be when I do most of my primary gaming uh, you know I don't really have a strict streaming schedule so it's very very random if uh, you're on YouTube and you haven't created a twitch.tv account I suggest you do because not only for me but there's a lot of great streams out there this it's a lot of fun stuff to watch and uh, 
I, I highly suggest you check out the communities there because it's a, it's a popular thing to do and uh, you know I'm definitely going to be on there a lot more and you'll really be missing out on some unique uh, experiences because let me tell you not only was there World of Tanks but recently Elbrook, good buddy Elbrook joined me for some day Z. We jumped on his new private server and played some Daisy Overwatch, and it was actually some of the most fun I've ever had in Daisy. We got into some crazy firefights. There was a lot of hilarity <laughs> involving bicycles, and it was just a blast. Uh, I mean, and, and the viewers just loved it. There was a lot of laughs to be had. It was just, it was just a whole lot of fun. We were just goofing off, and it was very relaxed. You know, it wasn't. It wasn't just, you know, uptight or serious or anything. And until we got in the... When we got in the firefights, it became about business for me. But, uh, you know, generally it was just having a lot of fun. And I really liked that bicycle. Uh, the asset, as, as Elbrook named it. But uh, it was uh, it was just a lot of fun. And actually, if you're interested in seeing that, uh, that VOD or the video on demand, you can go to the Twitch channel page, go into the video section, and you can find it. It's uh, Daisy Overwatch with Side Strafe and Elbrook. Look it up. You can watch the whole thing. It was a couple hours of, of, of crazy. And, um, you know, it's just it's just so much fun. And and for those of you that are always like, Side Strafe, make longer videos. We want them longer. You know, hang out on Twitch because the longest content, sometimes I stream for hours. I'll turn it into like a day job where it's like, okay, I'm going to clock in the work and stream for six hours or more, you know. And so sometimes if you like long content, well, Check out the videos uh, there or just hang out on the stream. And, you know, sometimes you might be at work or sleep or whatever the time zone is. You, again, you can check out the VOD, which stands for Video On Demand, which means just go to the video section, hit play, enjoy, enjoy hours of <laughs> quality entertainment. Uh, so, again, I want to put your mind at ease if you're on YouTube and you're thinking that I'm switching over to Twitch full time. Never going to happen. Uh, YouTube is my lifeblood. I, I love making YouTube videos. Twitch is just a secondary thing. It's the thing that I would do when I'm playing games in my spare time, uh, which can be rare. But you know, again, lately I've, I've managed to free a bit more of that up, and uh, it's just it's just a lot of fun being on there and interacting with everyone. And um, I think there's a lot of laughs to be had. Uh, I, I, I tend to relax a little bit more when I'm streaming so I don't think you want to miss out on that and again a twitch.tv account is completely free if you follow you're gonna get an email notification uh, if you choose to do the four ninety nine a month subscription thing you can also do SMS text messaging uh, but you know really if you're gonna you're missing out on a large percentage of the side strafe experience if you're not over there uh, once in a while and and so far we've got a, a decent group of people I'm looking at getting a few more moderators and Everybody's just been generally helpful and kind, and I think people are making new friends uh, on my channel and uh, some new platoon mates for World of Tanks and whatnot. Um, again, very good feedback. I haven't really heard too many complaints unless it's just uh, about me being overly honest about something, but that's the usual, right? You wouldn't be here if you, you had an issue with that. But, uh, yeah, so there's that. Again, I'll have a link in the description below if you want to follow that. Um, I won't always announce my live streams on YouTube. I do that once in a while, but there are some times where I'll just pop on and start streaming. So if you're not following, if you're not getting your email notifications, you just may never know about those special little events. Uh, and sometimes that's where the most fun is had. Um, and I know some of you just don't like checking email. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe follow Twitter or Facebook or do something. But Or some people just leave the tab open on their browser and the second they start hearing me talk or they start hearing audio from Twitch, then they just tune in. So, I mean, if that's your thing as well, uh, go for it. But uh, keep in mind that I won't always post a, hey, I'm streaming now video on YouTube. That's only during certain times of the day when, I, when I'm trying to reach a, a larger audience. But I would like that I, I could just flick a switch and everybody from the YouTube channel just knows that I'm streaming without having to broadcast it each and every time. Because, uh, you know... I have two videos set up currently. I have a Cube World one and a World of Tanks one set up to say, hey, I'm live streaming this game. But, uh, you know, I, I might have to just make a one that says, hey, I'm live streaming right now. Go over there. And But, again, keep in mind I always have to re-upload it and make it public. And it's not that big of a pain, but um, there are times where I'm just in a more relaxed mood. And, and I think I just want uh, those that are that are really into the stream 
to, to check it out. So I'm not always going to post about it and, and, and say, hey, you know, because again, it's not my main source of income. Uh, my, my concern with the Twitch channel is more about providing you with something that uh, uh, will allow us to inter interact a bit more and just generally chill out. It's a hangout session more than anything else. So if you're into that, check it out. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've covered uh, a decent amount. Uh, still just getting people used to the whole live streaming thing. So that's why I brought that up a bit more. Don't forget to check out the Duckster link in the description below if you're interested in that, especially for World of Tanks. Uh, Cube World, if you haven't checked this game out, you should definitely do yourself a favor. It's, it's a lot more fun uh, than you might think and actually very, very difficult and challenging. And uh, if, if you're into some hardcore gaming with, with this type of imagery, then it's totally uh, for you. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I will definitely see you on the next one.